Hey friends, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you guys the fastest and easiest way that I know how to shoot and edit a green screen. A lot of us shoot remotely and a green screen is a fun way to let us be anywhere we want in a video. I wanted to show you guys the most simple and basic compact version of how to do that. So let's get started. I'll be setting up a muslin cloth green screen, but you can get a green paper backdrop or have a dedicated green wall. The main thing is to make sure the screen is secure, stable, and is free of as many wrinkles as possible. I went ahead and checked all the fasteners and added some Mafer clamps up top to keep the cloth in place. Make sure to smooth out wrinkles in the cloth. This is very important. The more evenly lit and smoother your green screen looks on camera, the easier and faster it'll be to key out everything when we edit. I took a quick pass with the steam and made pretty quick work of some of the small wrinkles. I'm only using two small one by one lights, but I recommend at least two more or to have really good ambient light to make sure that that green screen is lit pretty well. So now that we have our green screen secure and a couple lights in front of us, it's time to check our overall lighting. Notice that if I get too close to the green screen, I'm going to start creating a lot of prominent shadows behind me. So it's important to keep distance away from the green screen. If you already know what the background image that you're going to replace your green screen with, be sure to take that into account when you're lighting your subject so that you get a very clean look and won't have to deal with shadows later on when you're editing. Make sure that you're lighting and exposing properly for the subject in front that's going to be on camera. And then once you're happy with that lighting, you're able to shoot your scene or whatever bit you're going to do and get your footage so that we can put into Premiere Pro. Okay, so now that we've gathered our footage, it's time to edit the green out. Let's import the footage by double clicking the project panel and then creating a sequence for the timeline. I'm going to name this one green screen sequence for the sake of this video. And now drag your footage into the timeline. In the beginning, I mentioned that lighting the green screen evenly and avoiding shadows is very important. In this footage, you'll notice that it's underexposed and there are many prominent shadows and a weird light leak. Uh, I'm actually gonna quickly boost the brightness by one stop using Lumetri Color. I wanted to use this footage as an example since I know when you do it at first, you might not have ideal footage to work with. So be sure to take your time uh, when you're lighting and pay attention to shadows to avoid footage like this. So now that our clip is a little bit better, let's edit the green screen. Click on your footage and then the effects panel. Type in Ultra Key, and once you find it, drag and drop it into the effects controls tab for your footage. Under Key Color, you'll find this little color match tool and let's click on that. Now try clicking on the clearest area of green on your footage and you'll see Ultra Key do its work. Ultra Key now has masked out all that specific color in the footage. And now I'm gonna raise the video to channel two and create a color mat for my background. Go to your project tab and find the small folded paper icon. Under that list, click on color mat. I'm gonna create a red background here and I'll name it that. Once you have that, you can drag it on your footage and the color mat will now expose the imperfections in the ultra key mask. So now I'm gonna get rid of those pesky shadows by going first to the shadows tab under ultra key. I'm only gonna reduce this to 40 here, and then I'm gonna go into pedestal and raise that to 100. Notice that now most of the shadows are pretty much gone just by doing that. Now we just have that light leak, but let's double check the footage. Actually, there are small dots of red here in my shirt that are being masked out that I really don't want. So just to be sure, I'm gonna open up Mac Cleanup and then go to contrast and bring that to 50. Now let's check the footage. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Now for this light leak. Ultra Key won't do too much good with this type of light leak, so instead I'm gonna crop that out. So let's go over to the effects and type in crop. And we'll drag that into our effects controls tab. The first thing I'm gonna do is click the pen tool and create points around this light leak. Once I get it around the whole area here, uh, we can go over right here to the left and bring that to 100% crop. Now it looks like we're all in the clear and got a clean mask. You now have clean footage that you can mess around with, put anywhere you'd like, and you're ready to go. Let's add some flair to the background to complete this footage. I wanted to make this background stand out just a little bit more than this plain red color. Let's go over to the effects tab and type in Lumetri color. Drag and drop that in and we'll go down to the vignette tab. I'm gonna bring the amount to negative five and the feather to 100. 
That little touch adds a layer of depth to your production and I think it makes the color mat look a lot better. Here's the original footage without any edits. And now here's our final result. Feel free to get creative and have fun with it. Keep in mind, the lighting will determine how nicely your footage is going to integrate with the backdrop. Hey friends, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and smash the subscribe button for more content like this. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.